the Walk Ahead is a 5K uh, walk or run event, and this year we're also offering a virtual option uh, due to the pandemic for those that either can't uh, physically make it into town or don't feel comfortable uh, being a part of an in-person event uh, at this time. It's at Sawyer Point, and it loops into northern Kentucky back across the river uh, and ends essentially where it started. We all have to feed, we all walk, some faster, some slower, some run, some can't walk. Uh, and we still all march together. I like to see this more as a family event. And, and I think it's very appropriate because the patients that we treat, uh, they're, they're not just isolated or the subject of a treatment. We somehow treat and connect with the whole families. We typically only meet with the patient and maybe one significant other or, or possibly a couple family members, but that is not who our patients are. Our patients are comprised of a family and loved ones and friends. So we get to see that aspect at least one day out of the year. You know, when patients come to the office, there's always this tension uh, about the news that they're about to receive. And so an event like this is good to establish connections at a different level and see also how, how these conditions affect the entire family, how the results of what we do uh, change patients' lives and what they can do and capabilities and celebrate some victories. The funds raised support our researchers, both uh, the basic science level as well as the translational level. Uh, so those monies are invested early on in projects that then can hopefully lead to larger scale funding outside of the Brain Tumor Center uh, uh, to bring uh, things to our, our patients that would not have been previously offered. Again, some of the research that we do focuses on how we can do some of these surgeries better, more effectively, with less burden to the patient from the emotional standpoint, the, from, from the physical standpoint, people who can leave their hospital faster, who can go back to their lives faster. And so that's what we use those, those funds for. Each year a quilt's created from the t-shirts that, uh, that the different teams create. And uh, that quilt basically shows the scale of interest and involvement uh, in our patients and their families. Obviously on the medical side, we only see a small snip of what our patient's life is like. And they're not defined by their tumor, they're defined by their family, their friends, their loved ones that we then get to see uh, come through that finish line and, and gather around that quilt. So the brain tumor diagnosis is very isolating. And uh, certainly in these times when isolation is magnified, uh, it brings the community together to show support for the patients and their families who otherwise might feel that they're fighting this alone. I walk so people don't have to walk alone. I walk with patients, the families, my colleagues. In a way, cancer and, and tumors, in particular the brain and neurologic condition, is a little bit of a journey, a little bit of a walk. And so it's best if you don't walk alone.